In this video, I will show how to install the desktop client for Nextcloud. Using the desktop client means that you can work uh, on your computer in Windows file system and get access to all the shared files just like you would do using Dropbox or Google Drive. So without further ado, I will start the installation process. We are already logged in uh, to the cloud uh, using our username and password and uh, I will go back to my mail and go back to the first mail that I got it has two links one for uh, set password and one for install the client and that's what we want to do now so I will click on install client here you can install uh, the client for Windows or uh, Mac OS and if you have a older version of Mac you have to use the legacy driver for it but uh, normally you will be able to use one of these two so I will download the Windows I accept to save the file and it's now starting to download based on your speed this download can take anything from 30 seconds to 5-6 minutes so uh, the file has been downloaded and I can now uh, click on it to start the installation and accept running the program. The installation process is quite straightforward. Uh, it's just next, next and install. It will prompt you for uh, permission to run the program and you say yes. The installation process takes about a minute and then it's done and uh, now we are ready to launch next cloud so uh, it's already ticked off so i will click on finish the system will ask you if you want to restart uh, the system um, for now i will wait with it i will complete the setup and then i will go back and restart in the end so uh, I have these two options, it comes up automatically, log in to your next cloud. So I will click on that. I have to write the address for the next cloud uh, server and uh, that will be the address that you have up here, which is cloud.caroni.com. So I will put that in. I click next and now it will open the browser. and it will ask for permission to connect to your account. So you click login. And as you have already logged in uh, in this browser before, it can kind of figure out what is your username and password. So it basically just asks you to grant access. And now it says you have been connected. And uh, at the moment you get the uh, set up for the client and it's pretty simple um, here you have two options you can either synchronize everything that is in the cloud which means if you have very good storage space that's fine but if you do not have that it's good to click here to only download the folders that you are working with most often for example if you have a lot of pictures uh, in the cloud it feels a lot you don't want to download all the pictures to your PC so you can decide not to download the photos then later if you want them of course you can go back here <clears throat> and you can tick the uh, folders that you want to uh, um, if you have more folders under photo you can just tick the folders that you want to download and then it will download it whatever is not ticked you still have access to in the web interface when you go back here okay so for this I'm happy it will download everything except the pictures in this case and I will click OK and I will say connect then you will see here that uh, the client is starting and is starting to synchronize everything um, all the content and the client runs down here 
The client runs down here and the icon looks a little bit like Skype but it's totally round as you can see. And if you click once on it, you will see the activities that goes on. Uh, you will also see if you have got some private messages uh, in the system, it will also come up and you can click to view the chat and you can see all the files. Normally you don't use this client so much, it just runs there. Uh, you basically normally only use it if you need to check something or if you want to add another folder to download uh, and stuff like that. We will cover that in another video. But now it's downloaded and it is installed. So what do we do? Well, if you open your Explorer, you will see now that you have got an icon that says Next Cloud. And if you open it, you will see that you have access to all the files that you decided that you want to synchronize. So if I open this document, you can see these are the files that I have there. If I open my web version under files, and I click on uh, documents, you can see these are the same files that I have here as well. And if uh, you add a file here, a new document, I will call it uh, Morton. It so, so you can see the document is here. Um, now it is available in the cloud. Uh, but you will also get this down here in your folder. You can see it is right here and so on whatever changes you do inside this next cloud whatever folders you make inside next cloud and files and pictures it will also synchronize up in the cloud and that means that you have a, a kind of backup as well in case your computer breaks down it also means that uh, if you later need to share some folders with other users like here, you can see that there's a user called Morton A who have shared two folders with me, you know. Um, that can be if you have some projects together, you can share folders. And uh, this just means that it's so easy to collaborate uh, in the work process because you can share anything with anyone within the organization with a, with a click. So that's how you install the client uh, for Mac users, the process will be the same. You have to install the client and then you have to write in the server address. And if for some reason it doesn't identify the account automatically, you just write in your email account and the password that you set when you first time logged in to Nextcloud. I hope this is useful. And uh, if you have any questions, you're always welcome to uh, contact us.